Well, a week ago at this hour, we registered some real surprise that former Trump National Security Advisor Michael Flynn was not among the first three publicly announced people associated with the Trump campaign to be indicted by Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller, one of whom has already ple pleaded guilty. Because Michael Flynn obviously broke the law. There's absolutely no doubt about that. He did not register as a foreign agent when he was working on behalf of the Turkish government during the Trump campaign in 2016, and that is a felony. Punishment can include prison time. The government doesn't usually prosecute these cases when it seems to have just been an oversight. Government can be kind of understanding about that. But when prosecutors are playing tough, as Robert Mueller is, this is the kind of thing that can and will get you indicted, as it did for Paul Manafort and his junior partner, Richard Gates. Count 10 of the indictment of Paul Manafort and Richard Gates says the defendants, Paul J. Manafort Jr. and Richard W. Gates III, knowingly and willfully, without registering with the Attorney General as required by law, acted as agents of a foreign principal to wit the government of Ukraine. Count 11 of that same indictment says that Manafort and Gates knowingly and willfully caused to be made a false statement of a material fact and omitted a material fact necessary to make the statements therein not misleading in a document filed with and furnished to the Attorney General under the provisions of the Foreign Agents Registration Act. Hitting Michael Flynn with those two counts of an indictment has been from the start the easiest thing that Robert Marler could possibly do because Michael Flynn did not register as a foreign agent. But after he was fired from the Trump White House, when this kind of deception became public, Michael Flynn filed as a foreign agent in March of 2017 for work he had done the previous year. So that means Michael Flynn gave up any hope of trying to claim that he wasn't a foreign agent that would be one way of defending himself, but he gave that up. But filing after you've done the work, especially when you're also working on a presidential campaign, when you did that work, is like stopping the car 10 miles after you went through a stop sign. And so tonight's news, which we've seen coming for most of the year, is that NBC News is reporting that Robert Mueller has gathered enough evidence to bring charges in the investigation of former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn and his son. And it is unclear just how much legal trouble Michael Flynn's son is in. But the father and son worked very closely together in Michael Flynn's company called Flynn Intel Group. An indictment would make Michael Flynn the first Trump White House official accused of a crime by Robert Mueller's team. Michael Flynn was fired after just 24 days as President Trump's national security advisor. The Trump administration insisted that it was for misleading the White House, in particular misleading poor Mike Pence, about Michael Flynn's Russia contacts during the transition. But it has been documented that the White House had been warned about those contacts by Michael Flynn weeks before Michael Flynn was fired. So Michael Flynn was fired not because of what he did. No, no, no. Michael Flynn was fired only because what he did became public. Or some, some of what he did became public. NBC News reports investigators are speaking to multiple witnesses in coming days to gain more information surrounding Flynn's lobbying work, including whether he laundered money or lied to federal agents about his overseas contacts, according to three sources familiar with the investigation. Mueller's team is also examining whether Flynn attempted to orchestrate the removal of a chief rival of Turkish President Recep Erdogan from the U.S., to Turkey in exchange for millions of dollars. NBC News reported two months ago that Michael Flynn's son, Michael G. Flynn, who is, irritatingly enough, not a junior, it's Michael G. Flynn, he is also subject to Robert Mueller's investigation. Quote, the inquiry into the younger Flynn is focused at least in part on his work with his father's lobbying firm, Flynn Intel Group. Both traveled to Russia in December 2015 when General Flynn gave a paid speech to the Russian propaganda network RT and had dinner with Vladimir Putin. Three sources familiar with the investigation tell NBC News Mueller is applying renewed pressure on Flynn following his indictment of Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort in June. 
Former FBI Director James Comey testified under oath that President Trump directed him to drop what was then the FBI's investigation into Michael Flynn. I hope, this is the president speaking, I hope you can see your way clear to letting this go, to letting Flynn go. He is a good guy. I hope you can let this go. Now, those are his exact words. Is that correct? Correct. I mean, this is the president of the United States with me alone saying, I hope this. I took it as this is what he wants me to do. NBC News reports, if the elder Flynn is willing to cooperate with investigators in order to help his son, two of the sources said it could also change his own fate, potentially limiting any legal consequences. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.